Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about Biwigli Contest 11 for question divide chocolate. So we have chocolate bar with some chunk, and then we're being asked to divide the chocolate into K plus one piece um, from K cuts. So um, we will take the minimum um, total sweetness um, from those cut, and then find the maximum total sweetness we can get um, from cutting the chocolate itself. So um, see the first example here. So we have a chocolate bar and then we need to um, slice it uh, doing five cuts into six pieces. And then those, those six pieces in the optimal way we can get um, those piece. And then the minimum total sweetness of the piece is the first one or the third one here. So we return six in that case and take a look on the second example so there are nine slices here we need to make uh, eight cuts so yeah um, each of them will have one chunk of it and the uh, minimum chunk there is one so we return a one and same thing on the third example so we divide it equally to all and then we return the total of the minimum one which is the same for all it's five so how are we going to solve this question? So the main focus here is we need to know like um, in one piece um, how much target we do want to expect. So we try to guess um, what is the um, number um, we expect in one chunk. And if some part have um, bigger, bigger portion than the, our target, it's fine but we don't want it to be lower. So um, we can try to do this, do this by binary search. So I try to guess a number between low until high. So any number um, in integer. So we perform a binary search. Um, so we try to find the meat. So I add another plus one here. So um, it's not keep targeting the low if the low and high difference is one, for example. And we have the target number of slice and then the sum itself so every time we guess a number we try to loop through the entire array and then we add up the sum so if the sum is already larger than our mid means um, so we try to split the chocolate by k number of slice so each of the slice if the number is already larger than our target then that means there is no point we keep adding the sweetness to that chunk because otherwise it will not be an optimal answer so when it's already larger we reset the sum to zero and we start the new slice so if the slice is already larger than k means um, we already have the targeted number of slice then we finish our splitting so there is um, two condition um, will happen when we finish this loop so first condition is um, our slice is already equals to uh, is already larger than our target k so it will always be this condition here so the it means we already reached the target so reaching the target means maybe um, each of the chunk is um, very small or um, it, it's at the right amount so we are not sure so we set our low equals to our mid but otherwise um, it means like um, our chunk is too big so it cannot even reach um, that number of slice so um, k plus one number of slice so yeah in that case means um, we split it in a very big chunk so we don't get the targeted slice so that mid number cannot be an answer so we said um, height is equals to mid minus one in that case and we keep doing it again so yeah we eliminate the mid itself as an answer candidate but when it's too low it's fine maybe um, in that case then we can get more chunk but actually that's not what we want so we can still keep the mid in that case okay and when um, we do it uh, as long as the low is still smaller than high and then we return the low at the end so in this case like um, I target from one until max value so at most we will do 32 operation of this so it's a lock uh, lock n basically but it's a fixed number and then here 
uh, we keep loop through the um, entire array so it's like 32 times n or yeah something like that and yeah that's for this question um, thank you for watching uh, see you on the next weekly contest